March 2019. Almost three months into 2019 finds us at Gulfport, Mississippi, having just left Milton, Florida. We stopped at Milton to take care of our annual medical, dental, and of course, file our taxes. Normally, we stay at one of the bases, either in Pensacola or in Fort Walton Beach. But this year, we couldn't find any reservations there, so we found ourselves a nice private park up in Milton. And although Milton is kind of way out in the country and there's not much to do up here, the ride down to the Florida beaches wasn't that far away, and we had the added advantage of enjoying long walks without really worrying too much about traffic. Milton also had the advantage of putting us closer to Janet's sister Kathy's place. This gave us several opportunities to visit Rob and Kathy up at their 18-acre campground near Andalusia, Alabama. So this stop was all about visiting family and taking care of the requirements of life. So as soon as we took care of it all, we were on our way to our first real stop of 2019. Our first stop was Gulfport, Mississippi. We found a place to stay at the Navy CB base in Gulfport. The CB base has a nice RV park. Nothing super fancy, but nice level lots with good hookups and plenty of room. Our first priority was to visit Aaron Albers, an old Air Force friend of ours. We served with Aaron in Aviano, Italy, and we were thrilled to find out that he landed in Gulfport, where we had the chance to visit and catch up. It was great to catch up with Aaron and enjoy a nice lunch on the beach with him. While in Gulfport, we discovered Fishbone Alley. Fishbone Alley is really only an alley that runs in between two rows of restaurants and bars. What makes it special is the artwork decorating the walls on either side of this alley. The bars and restaurants lining this alley prove that with a little effort and a little imagination, even an alley can look beautiful. We spent the rest of our time here, walking on the beaches, enjoying the many events held on the beaches, and exploring the restaurants and bars of Gulfport. But before we left Gulfport, we had to make a side trip to the John C. Stennis Space Center. Although this was not a very large museum, it was still well worth seeing. We enjoyed looking through some of the exhibits that we had not seen anywhere else. But as usual, our time here came to an end, and it was time to leave Gulfport and move on. We haven't added any new states to our list, but that's okay. We have plenty of time and we'll cover them all eventually. Time to move on.